I'm looking at an Astro with an oxygen sensor that's non-responsive and the fuel trims that are not right. Now here I've got 25% and 25% fuel trim and fuel trim and the oxygen sensor is stuck at 0 0.1 so it's adding fuel. I'm going to take some penetrating spray and just quickly spray it a little bit into the throttle and see if we see a rise in that. The trouble is I can't see this at the same time. I'll try it again. I'll go to graph. Now I should see it when I miss it. I should be able to come back and see it. A little spray. Not too much that the car stalls, but we want to see a change here and we're not. It's like 0 0.2 is the highest it was. That's still low. I'll do it again. A little bit more. That was enough to get it to stall out and it's just gone leaner. So a quick test. It needs an oxygen sensor. It's not recognizing when it gets fuel. So it's making it run rich. Now I can put this back on here so it doesn't have a vacuum leak. It's just not changing at all. A non-responsive O2 sensor. We could do more tests and check the heater side of the oxygen sensor. But at least we know it doesn't the signal side doesn't change when I put a spray in it. Just a quick check of the oxygen sensor and checking the ground, minus battery voltage. Now that's the grey signal. Put, and then the black signal is the signal. Right? The black wire is the signal, I mean. The grey wire is the ground. It's stuck at about 1 or 0.2. Take the same pipe off again. It's not really changing. And a little spray. No change. It's not going up. We're look, looking for it to max out to like one volt or at least what point eight of a volt. We know we're getting more fuel and the sensor's not recognizing it. Okay. So next I'm gonna quickly check the heater. It's still stuck at 0 0.1. I'll put that back on. Got two white wires, they're both the heater. One of them's 13, 14. Okay, I'm going to the one below it. And that in there, right? You can see from this bar graph it's being switched on and off and this isn't keeping up with it. So it's getting control. It's got the power, so the heater side looks okay. Otherwise, that would be stuck at zero if it was an open circuit. Across the two white wires, I got 18 ohms. So it's not an open circuit. I'm happy that's working and it's being controlled. It's just non-responsive. We know it needs an oxygen sensor at the front. Just a quick way of checking an oxygen sensor if ever you have a an unresponsive oxygen sensor fault. Thanks for watching.